There is a well-known Bremen legend concerning the gift of meadow by Saint Emma of Lisa. One day, a group of townspeople approached Emma requesting for more meadow land for their pastures to graze. Emma agreed to the request happily and asked them to take as much land as they needed. Her brother-in-law, Bernard, or Benno, Duke of Saxony, who had an eye on the land, came up with an idea. He suggested mockingly that she might as well give them as much land as a man could run round in a day. Emma agreed to this. But the cunning duke chose a legless cripple to do the running. By some miracle, the man turned out to have extraordinary strength and endurance. He started running and Everyone was shocked by this miracle. By the end of the day, he had succeeded in making his way round a very substantial area, bigger even than the present Bremen town meadow. This story has been current in various forms since at least the 18th century although there is no documentary evidence for it, but it gives a whole new meaning to the inclusion of the figure of the cripple at the feet of the statue of Bremen Roland, the protector of the city of Bremen. Emma of Lisa, or Emma of Steipel, was a countess popularly venerated as a saint for her good works. She is also the first female inhabitant of Bremen to be known by name. Emma was born into the Saxon noble family of the Amedinger, descendants of the Widukind. She was the daughter of Count Imed, or Imad, from the Diocese of Utrecht. Little specific information about St. Emma survives. Legend states that she had a violent temper when she was young. She would be upset by the tiniest of things and then regret later. When she grew old, she was married to Luiger, the son of a Saxon duke. Emma loved her husband and they lived together happily for some time. Their marriage resulted in one child, a boy named Imad. This little boy would go on to become Bishop of Paderborn in 1051. One day, her husband set off for Russia. That would be the last time that young Emma saw her husband. He got a rare sickness while staying in Russia and died. Emma, as a widow, retired to her estate near Bremen. Emma had been a headstrong young woman and wife. After her husband's death, however, she developed a new contemplative spirit and devoted herself to good works. Emma used her family's good standing and wealth to care for the church particularly the poor. She also started the construction of a church dedicated to St. Mary of Nazareth on the site in 1008. She regularly visited and cared for the peasants and destitutes in her city. The support she gave her town, Bremen, was legendary. The popular story of her gift of a meadow to the town has been narrated in various forms since at least the 18th century. Legend has it that after she died, her entire body turned to dust except for her right hand, which she had used to bestow charity upon the poor. The relic of her hand became an object of much medieval devotion as Emma lived the truth 
that those who care for God's chosen, the poor, will receive treasure in heaven. Saint Emma, noble Christian who cared for the poor with your great wealth, pray for us.